couple of weeks ago, I'm sitting in a coffee shop near work, minding my own business, eating a muffin, as I do, and I see this woman, not with an iPad, but with an old-fashioned paper book, <laughs> made out of dead bark and glue, as far as I can tell. And before I can even make a smart-ass remark about this on Twitter or anything, I see another one, sitting there with a dusty orange paperback, broad daylight, not even looking ashamed of herself, reading a book. <laughs> Naturally, I was gobsmacked. I was tempted to go up to her, either of them, probably the less scary of the two, look her in the eye and say, are you from the past or something? But I didn't, because we live in a society, and I'm not a complete savage. But had I done that, I suspect that a bunch of my English students, senior kids, would have been so proud of me, their little hearts would have sang. They're not intellectual kids, but they don't like books, and they tell me this frequently and often. Mr O'Mara, stop living in the past. You've got to let go. <laughs> When I was their age, I loved this album, Black Vinyl Disc, for those of you who remember that. These are the days of miracle and wonder. This is the long distance call. This is the time when, to quote Douglas Adams, people still thought the digital watches were a pretty cool idea. But having said that, 1987 obviously not the days of miracle and wonder. These are the days of miracle and wonder. I've reached for the wrong gadget there. This $130 gadget. Every song I've ever bought, 6,000 songs, all my work documents, all my email, Wikipedia, Google Maps, you name it. It's like Star Trek. I would never have believed this is going to be the case. Perhaps the age of books is over, but before we let them go, let's go way back before Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> we have been making music for a good long time now. Now, although not me, because I'm hopeless at it. <laughs> but about a thousand years ago, we started doing something really different. We learned how to write it down. Now, don't mistake this as just a primitive precursor to the iPod. It's not just about storage and retrieval. Once we can write stuff down, we can deliberately comp compose concerted, consecutive, sophisticated works. Vast, majestic symphonies that we could not do when you were just sitting in the moment producing a tune. Likewise, we have a relationship like this with words. When you can write down words, you can polish the phrases just so. You can research, you can refine, you can collaborate, you can create symphonies of the mind. It goes by a slightly simpler word, book. <laughs> Steve Jobs, hero, doing in even to egg heads like me, says that the personal computer is like a bicycle for the mind. I would like you to remember that the humble book is like scuba gear for the mind. We have always been able to mess around in the intellectual shallows verbally, as I'm doing with you now. With this technology, and that's what it is, it's a technology, we can go deep. We can stay under, we can go to places we couldn't go before, we could really be immersed in the full meaning of the word. Now, that's not a Twitter bird, that's the mockingbird. <laughs> I'd love to kill a mockingbird, but if you've only seen it on Twitter in 140 characters, I have to tell you, you've missed some of it. <laughs> but if you're really time rich, you know, you've got weeks on end, spend 129 minutes on the film. It's a ripper, it's in black and white, but I promise you, you'll cope. But if you really want to know this life, if you want to understand those, if you want to walk in their shoes in Macon County, you want to feel the innocence, the injustice, everything that's in there, pick up and read 298 pages of the book. Stand on Boo Radley's front porch when he is finally revealed and to a certain extent understood. All from the humble book. Not so humble. You can get them on your iPad. You can download them from Audible. You can get audio books read by fantastic actors. Uh, you can get them on your Kindle. You can even get them on my $130 phone. This thing that I bought from the supermarket. <laughs> this is the golden age of books. And these books are not replaced by the technology. These books make this technology possible. The kind of deep understanding that we get from books is what makes all of this. This is not made of glib understanding. This is made of going deep, staying under, spending hundreds and hundreds of pages on a topic. These are the days of miracle and wonder. So, fire up Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is. I've got something very simple for you to type. Reconnect, well, I stumble at the last minute. Enhance your reality. Read a book. Type away.
enhance your reality. Read a book. Thank you.